everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Golden Sun. So, in our last episode, we went ahead and figured out what was plaguing the town of Vault. Turned out to be some nasty bandits, but we got everyone their heirlooms back, and Ivan, our newfound ally, short though it was, managed to get his master's rod back. And boy, does he really have an obsession with that rod. Anyway, today we're going to be traveling around and seeing what we can go ahead and do next. Perhaps taking a look at Lunpa if not the Goma Range, but let's go ahead and explore. We're going to head to our north where we'll find Lunpa. And if we look at Lunpa, after we fight this zombie, nice and easy, we'll notice, huh, it's locked. What to do? You want to enter Lunpa? Yes, I do. Sadly, I cannot do it. Uh, quickly, we are going to equip Catch Beads on Isaac. And we're going to set Catch as his Synergy. So, now you'll see. Whoop. Missed that. How about now? Alright. So we got this nut. And nuts restore 150 HP, so thanks to that Synergy, we were able to get it. But... Now we'll go ahead and check out West Lunpa Cave, which again, we shouldn't be able to get all the way through. Yeah, so you'll notice this puddle here, that's going to play an important part in the future. But for now, sadly, we won't be able to enter Lunpa. So, our only other option is to head out east, I believe it is, to the Goma Range. I assume it's east because we're heading uh, right. Oh, wow, mushroom bro, what do you think you're doing? Pachaw! Ooh. The Nimble Dodge. Alright, I see it. And Mushroom goes down. And there was much rejoicing. Yay! Is there a gin over here? I don't remember. Oh, I probably should have focused my attacks. I'm an idiot. Oh, we're taking one damage, so I'm not that worried. Six experience. Uh, let me just quickly look over here and make sure there isn't. So for some reason, I feel like there was a gin here. Maybe it's just my imagination. And it's just my imagination. All right. There should be more than enough to do it. Wow, Garrett is so slow. Might actually consider using the mint on him. Sorry about that, that was my phone, in case you heard it. I'm just ever so popular today. All right, so here we have the Goma Cave entrance. Now, we will make our way over using our brute strength and of course our wicked awesome synergy in order to get up there. So we'll have to use move, pull this on down, and we'll head up here. Now, normally we're able to use move to move logs, such as the one right here, but... Oop, not catch. Nope, nope, nope. We'll do move. You'll notice if we push and we pull, despite giving this thing an awesome hand job phrasing, we can't move it. It's no use. Our synergy isn't strong enough to free that stump. Garrett is correct. Oh, what's this? That guy Ivan that left us? You want to move the stump, right? Looks like it's trapped in the ivy. So, before when we were in battle with him, you'll notice that he had two abilities. Ray, which was lightning, and then Whirlwind, which was less powerful in battle. But, you'll see in just a sec. Isn't there anything we can do? Ivan has an idea. Now the log is free. All right, Ivan! I did it! Yes, you did, bud. Yes, you did. All right. Thanks for the help. Why are you here, Ivan? I couldn't get into Lumpa. Same as us. 
Don't get me wrong, I didn't come here to ask for your help. Your quest has been on my mind ever since I left Vault. What's that? He wants to save the world? Of course, he read everything that was in our minds, so he already know. I couldn't just leave, not with all these terrible things happening. If I can't rescue Master Hammett, then I want to help you. Please, allow me to join your quest. And our boy Ivan is back. Are you trying to get to Bilbin through this cave? That's the plan. Then let's go. Alright, so now, if we use move, kabam! And it's all good. So now we'll go ahead and use Ivan's Synergy, which I think we're going to go ahead and assign to make things easier. And that will clear off this ivy right here, or this moss, whatever it is. Leaves. And open up the cave. Alright, so this is Goma Cave. We're going to see some new enemies in here we hadn't fought before. Some stronger enemies. So let me just make sure we are prepared. Ivan, what you got? Circle and Mother Armlet. Oh, so I bought those for no reason. Okay, well, goes to show you that I definitely don't remember what's happening in this game. Alright, so here we see a skeleton. Quite powerful. Should be no match for our mighty party. I was going to say power, but decided to go with party instead. 47 damage, he's going to attack, deal 8. And we take him down, easy peasy. So we'll head over this way, because I'm pretty sure we can't get up there yet. And we're going to come across a puzzle. At least we should. I'm beginning to think that Ivan's other rod choice, the uh, Merc Rod, could have been more powerful, but... Again, Hammett's Rod is relatively powerful, and it's something we don't have to pay for, so... When in doubt, err on the side of free. Alright, Ivan attacks, we unleash Flint. Skelly Man attacks. Alright. So we're going to have to move that down. And we're also going to want to move this. Because... Doo -doo 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 -doo. You'll notice there's a guy down there, and also a strange creature. What are they? Or what is it? Why don't you wait and see? That's right, suspense. Take that. Alright, so I think that other Willhead's defending. Maybe not. Oh, wow. Wow, 18 damage. Alright, so we're going to heal up Ivan in just a minute. All good. Alright, let's quake. Fire. Ray. We'll see what's the most effective. 46, 37. Should be dead now. 50, wow, yeah. And it is good to take note of what creatures take more damage because there may be tough creatures in the future that it's good to know your type advantage, so to speak, of. Or over. So, caught by surprise, oh no, Skelly Man has hurt me. So, from what we've seen, Flint has a powerful attack that he can unleash whenever he's utilized, but it's good to collect as many of the gin as possible because one, they boost your stats, and two, they all have different abilities that can be very useful in battle. Some will raise stats, some will freeze enemies, uh, some even allow you to act and do things more than once, so it's very useful to collect as many of the gin as possible if you're playing this game. Alright, zombies should go down after Venus hits. Alright, Ivan is level 5. Johnny 5, alive! Alright, so... We've got a couple of parts of this puzzle we need to take care of. First off, we're going to shove this bad boy down a hole. Phrasing. And that will allow us to traverse the river on the first level. Then we're, of course, going to move, move, move that over. Come and get what's in this chest. A lucky metal. Lucky metals are also useful later on in the game and can help us win some sweet, sweet items out of this fountain. 
so. Bone charge. Ouch. Garrick deals it right back. And we learn Spire, which is a powerful single target attack for Earth Adepts or Venus Adepts. All right, so you'll see now that's down there, so we can use that. Ooh, we have a ghost. And we're caught by surprise. Ooh. One, two, six. Okay, so damage is absolutely fine. Uh, two, 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 two. I will go ahead and showcase the power of Spire. So we're going to have... Gear attack him, and then I even can unleash Venus. The good news is, despite... Flint being set to Isaac, anyone can cast the summons. So, you're not limited in that aspect. Boom! As you can see, Spire dealing big damage to that ghost. Wild Mushroom's gonna recover a bit of HP, but not enough for us to not be able to kill. Alright. So now we'll go ahead, we'll head up here. And this should allow us to get this right here. So we're gonna do a quick State save. We are not going to try and catch him. He is not a Pokemon. And we're going to fight this Mars Jenny. Uh, I want to guess this is Forge. I don't quite remember who, though. Alright, so. Cast Ray to start us off. 38 damage. Not bad. Flinch deal in the 40s. 46. He'll attack. Does 6 damage. And again, we want to deal quickly as much damage as we can. Because we want this thing to be killed quick. Some Jenny can actually run away. So we felled the Mars Jenny. 28 experience, 85 coins. But most importantly... And yep, I was right. It is our friend Forge. You got it? Well, that's pretty impressive. Keep your eyes peeled for others like it. Thanks, bro. Will do. So I'm pretty positive that we can only have these two so far. And we'll go ahead and just manage our Jin quickly. So you'll notice when I set him, all of his stats go up. Now, what if I were to trade them? Well, our classes would change. We would both become brutes. And we see that we would now have access to growth, which is a useful type of synergy, as well as blast, fire synergy. So, when you switch the gen around and trade them between characters, they get access to synergy, both in and out of battle, that they might have not otherwise had. Now, of course, you're wondering, but what if I lose my awesome things like Earthquake? Well, when you put the gen on standby after trading them, you gain your other original synergy back. So now that we've gone through there, we can move this log. And the other river that was now impassable is made just a bit more passable. Oh, wait, no, I'm an idiot. I went the wrong way. So, ooh, you know what? We're gonna use Flint. And we'll save these two for our magic attacks right now because Isaac's running a bit lower on PP. Thirty-one experience, and we learned Flare Wall, which these, uh, is the upgraded version of Flare. So, much like Isaac has Quake and Earthquake, Garrett has Flare, Flare Wall, and each one should have, I believe, uh, one more level to each of those, so they can become one stronger. Uh, we'll go ahead and pop that. Yeah. So as I was saying, Forge, unlike Flint, isn't a direct attack, Jenny. Instead. He boosts the party's attack, so if you have a lot of physical attackers, like we currently do, it can be useful to use that at the beginning of a big battle, like a boss battle. And Ghost goes down. So we're getting a bunch of money, which will be very useful once we reach Billman, because we'll be able to upgrade all of our equipment. And speaking of Billman, they arrive! Now you're probably wondering, what is this right here? No, we're not going to catch it. My apologies. It's a tree, but it almost looks like a man. So we'll quickly...
switch these up. Stop it! Uh, there we go. Alright. So now if we cast Mind Read... Help me! Somebody! Okay, that's not something trees normally say, is it? Yeah, so something's definitely happening. Welcome to our inn. It's 21 coins for a room. So we have uh, 633 coins minus 21, so 612 coins left. Hopefully I just did that mental math correctly. Alright, I believe there's something in one of these. I'm really worried about Kalima. I can hardly even focus on my cooking. What's up, guy? Do you believe a tree spirit can curse a man? Yes, I do. It's hard not to believe after you've seen the tree out front. So what he's referring to is... Um, they believe that they've been cursed by a tree spirit, which is why um, they've sent people to try and probe the Kalima forest. Something changed after the eruption, so... Um, they think that there have been more monsters and things like that ever since the eruption that happened at Vale. So, we'll go ahead and move this statue. And we'll notice, hey, what's this? McCoy's Hidden Warehouse, or McCoy's Hidden Warehouse, do not enter. But you'll notice, there's no real way of getting around this, so, hmm, I wonder how we get in. Nonetheless, that creature you noticed there was the first of our uh, Jupiter Jenny. And a general rule of thumb, whenever you see these stones on the ground like this, it means that something in the area can be moved, so... Hence how I would have known about the statue had I never played this before. Alright, so we have several options available. The Witch's Wand is actually great, but I don't have the money for it for Ivan right now. And I was incorrect. We might need to train up a little bit really quickly. Hmm. So... Can we afford to buy... Ooh, what we're going to do quickly, before I forget, is we're going to sell these items that Isaac is holding. And... Yeah. Alright, so we have 864 Daleros. I.e. dollars. We're going to upgrade our armor on our warrior characters. So, Garrett and Isaac both get leather armor. Nothing you enjoy more than a man in some leather. What? Anyway. And this will improve upon Ivan's travel vest. Now he's got a travel robe. Alright, but sadly we can't afford any of the other items here, so... I'm going to quickly leave town, and I'm going to train up, and we will be back in just a second. Alright, and we are back. So... I went ahead and traded us up a little bit more. Uh, we're at level 9, 8, and 8, respectively. Uh, but that should be more than good enough for now. Um, we were a little bit lower in level than we should be and are still just a bit lower than some of the areas, but we're in a good spot now and should be okay. So, hmm, I'm tempted to get other things, but I'm going, I'm going to go for what's going to keep us alive longer first. So we have all the armor we need. Uh, it's better than the wooden shield, so we'll go ahead and give this to Isaac. 30 points for the wooden, sure. Game ticket, I'll take it. Bronze shield for Garrett. Alright, we're back up over a thousand. Another free game ticket, I'll take it. Leather armlets, we already have. Leather gloves. Better than the leather armlets. Ah, uh, we'll see. Wooden cap is better than leather cap. 22 coins, not enough, but we'll take it. So as you can see, it's normally supposed to take quite a while to get this level of equipment, but we're doing our best to just push through. You know what, why not? We got enough. 135 coins, that'll be a good rebate. And we'll of course sell, we got a couple smoke bombs from fighting rat enemies, so that's a nice $44 in our pocket. And that should be good for now. So we're a little bit stronger, a little bit older, a little bit wiser, a little bit faster. So we're going to head up to this lovely area. Uh, we're going to, of course, use our lovely catch, Synergy. Grab this nut. Give me your nuts. What? Anyway, <coughs> we're 
we're going to talk to this woman here. Are you telling me that I'm responsible for this? Yes, you are. Sure, I had them cut down the tree uh, so I could build my palace. But if anyone is a victim, it's me. I've been waiting for my palace for months. Uh-huh. Read your mind. If all this trouble was caused by the sacred tree, then all we have to do is cut the tree down. Yeah, that's a good... It's a good idea. You decide to just be a jerk. Lord McCoy is so upset about this curse that he can't even eat. <laughs> no one believed they would turn into trees, and yet they all did. The Lord will only meet with brave and mighty warriors. You don't seem the type. Think you're up to it? Yes, I do. Hmm, I see. You seem pretty confident. What do you say? They look a little young to get involved in this ugly mess. Nobody else seems up to the challenge, though. What do we have to lose? All right, I shall let you pass. Follow me. In we go. Heading towards McCoy. And this jerk here is McCoy. Pretty sure he's Scottish or something, if I remember correctly. No, maybe not. What's the matter? Sir, some new warriors have just arrived in the palace. New warriors, you say? See, he's kind of got that little bit like, yeah. We've sent many a man into a Kalima forest, but not a one has returned. See, he's got kind of that Scottish thing to him. These warriors, did you get a good look at them? Ugh, that sounded a little bit garbled. Yeah, we're kids. Come closer, Lottie. See? Yeah, I was right. Scottish. Are these, the one, are these the ones who are talking about? They're but children. I'm gonna cut it out with this terrible voice. And you expect me to believe you can save Kalima? Yes, I do. Believe that. Hmm. Well, I'll grant you a brave lot. There's the key I need to get past the barricades to the east. And I'll take it, yes? Even with the key, such wee lads as you, yourselves will never reach Kalima. He's making fun of us, calling us children. That's just irritating, don't you think, Isaac? I do. I do think that. Well, don't let him get to you. We'll just have to prove we can handle this job, whatever it is. So you've decided to accept our little job. Yes, I have. Hey, Ivan, you, you don't look too enthusiastic. That curse can turn a man into a tree. You think we stand a chance? What? Yeah, of course we do. You know we do, right, Isaac? Yeah. Well, if Isaac's going, I guess I'm in too. At least we all agree on something. What troubles you, my lord? They seem willing enough. The flesh is willing, but the body is spongy and weak. They call themselves warriors, but they're not but we children. Aye, these are desperate times, but I cannot send such wee lads to their doom. And pulls the key away. Jerk! Then what will happen to Kalima Forest? Ah, uh, everyone will die. It's fine. We cannot give up hope on our other champions. The ones that haven't returned? Sure. But, but what about us? We cannot send you into certain doom. What if we said we were going east anyway? You can go once things have settled down. But that means you're not going to let us go? Ah, it's for your own good lad. I do not want to talk about it anymore, Captain. Give it her all she's got, Captain. I'm sorry, but you should leave now. Fine. Jerks. <laughs> your name was Isaac? I'm sorry you were rejected. See, guard's a good dude. I never ever expected anything like this to happen to Bilbin. Will you promise me you won't go to Kalima? Nope. You are persistent, aren't you? That barricade. You may not need a key. Dun dun dun. Oops, shouldn't have said anything. Well, I'm gonna go now. Thanks, bro. Alright. If I remember correctly, which I possibly don't. Alright, we get access to those later on. I'm pretty sure one of these is a way... There's something here. No. I'm pretty sure that one of these is a way to go reach that gin we found underground. So, I'm gonna do a little exploring. Also sure that one of these has something in it. There it is, free smoke bomb. That'll sell for a nice 22 gold. 
or can be used to send my enemies into a state of delirium. I just checked the barrel, but didn't find anything. All right, let's check this one over here. No. Ugh, I always forget how to get into this. Hey, if you can't do the job, you don't get the reward. That's usually the way it goes. Nothing there. It's on your mind, ladies. Are you willing to go to Kalima Force? Yes, I am. Not a single warrior is returned. Sending those children to Kalima Force, do they want more people to suffer the curse? Make sure you don't offend Lord McCoy. Never let us into the palace. Eh. Eh, I say. Alright, guard bro. Apparently he hasn't been outside to see the tree guy. Yeah, that curse has already come here. The curse has come hither. Well, has dried up. Okay, nope, now I remember. Do 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 do. What's up, tree guy? Thanks, conveniently placed barricade things. And now. I have been if you'd be so kind. I always forget where the entrance to this cave is, but. It is outside, so. Like we said before, we can't get at this by going straight on, so we have to move the statue out. And with that, all of our characters now have a djinn. And we get Gust, who I believe is a physical attacking djinn, similar to Flint. Yep, attack with mighty wind gusts. And as you'll see, his HP, attack, and agility all go up. So, certain djinn will raise and lower certain stats, so it's important to consider that when trading them between characters. In fact, some of the best classes are unlocked by having a certain combination of gin. So I think it's high time we go check out Kalima. So here's the barricade. Of course, in order to get through the barricade, you need a key to this door right here. It's locked. Oh no! Thanks for having easily moved boxes there. Well, of course, t talk to these gentlemen. They're so heavy! Sucks to suck, bro. And we're through the barricade on our way to Kalima. So, there's the Kalima Forest, which we'll need to go into, but first... There we go. Sorry, I just wanted to skip past that for a sec. Garrett's now level 9, which is perfect. And here is the town of Kalima. You'll notice it's very sparkly. It's so quiet. It's probably because of all the tree people. Read his mind, Ivan. There you go. What's the matter, Ivan? This tree was a person. What? Everyone in Kalima has been turned into a tree. Tree people. Do you know why this happened? Yes, I do. It's because they hurt the holy tree. That is correct, sir. Sort of. What is it now, Ivan? That sparkly stuff on the ground. What is it? Whoa! Ah, what's happening? My mind, someone is attacking my... Pew, pew, pew. And they are down for the count. Here it comes. What is that? Something's falling from the sky. It's sparkling. Could this be what turned those people into... I think it is what turned those people into trees. We've got to get out of here. I can't... I can't move. What's this, though? Huh. I love the plip sound that makes.
Notice those nice shields right there. Isaac, what just happened to us? That barrier, did it save us? Well, I guess it did. I think so too, Isaac. I think I know what those domes were. It was our synergy. What are you, crazy? I didn't use any synergy. Hey, I can stand. I can move again. Ivan, it's okay. Go ahead. Stand up. Isaac, you too, sort of. Maybe. Those barriers. We thought that synergy was only used when we concentrate, right? When I was training, I'd focus so hard I thought my head would burst. Well, maybe it's just easier for you, but when I use synergy... Anyway, I'm certain that... I'm certain that was synergy we were projecting. That must mean that some synergy acts only when it's needed. Interesting. You mean like when we're in danger? I think it's like when we strike critical hits in battle. We can't control it, but it's there when we need it. Fourth wall. I can agree with what Garrett is saying. It's definitely possible. Wouldn't it be something if we could use this power at any time, Isaac? Yeah, let's start trying to master that power. Like right now. Watch out, it's happening again! Uh -huh. Why? Why don't they turn into trees? Who are they? Love that sound. Kick, kick. What people are these who are immune to Tret's glamour? Have they come to save the village with their strange power? It will not be enough to save the people of Kalima. They have earned their fate. Kalima took their axes to me, and now I shall take mine to them! Angry tree is angry. You, children, may not know this, but we are dying. And Kalima Forest will wither and die when we are gone. We are not the only ones who will die, Laurel. Once we are gone, they too will go. So all the tree people are going to die. Trent was once a kindly forest king. But he is slowly dying and his heart is torn in two. His wrathful side turned the people of Kalima into trees. The kind Trett speaks no more. Broom, the kindly heart invites destruction. I need no kindness. If you wish to save those whom Trett has turned into trees, you must reawaken his gentle side. But if you cannot stop Trett from withering, we will all... Look for Trett deep within the forest. It's no use, Laurel. Humans cannot be trusted. I shall die and the rest of the forest will die with me. Isaac, isn't there anything we can do? Uh, yeah. What can we do? Do you have any idea? Again, yes. Looks like Isaac has something in mind. Gee, you think? Well, leave it up to uh, we'll leave it up to you, Isaac. Let's go, everyone. All right, so here's Kalima. I need to figure out a way. I always forget how to get this gin right here. It's in like one of the buildings. Something. Something, something, dark side. Wait. If I read their minds, they might tell me. What will happen to my treasure from Second Tree Forever? I wonder what Father's Secret is. Sorry, uh, soon all of Kalima will be nothing but forest. No. Tree guy? I'm old. I've lived a full life. I don't even mind being a tree. I just feel bad for all those kids who were turned into trees. Yeah, me too. There's a free herb. This is a dream. It has to be a dream. I know I've used wooden armor in the past, but this is just ridiculous. There's seven coins. Father that tried to cut down the holy tree. It has great powers. And oh yeah, your job is to cut down trees. Maybe the one with the face is not the one to cut down. You think? Maybe? Just maybe? Ugh, I don't remember. Maybe it's 
Maybe I don't have the power to get that thing yet. I'm pretty sure I do, though. Uh, so angry. Yeah, I get it. I wouldn't want to be a tree either, bro. Maybe the in. No. Maybe if I meditate harder, I'll turn back into a man. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we're not going to get that for now, sadly, that gin, but we will come back for it. Because I think we need a different type of synergy to access it. Instead, we're going to go ahead and tackle a little bit of the Kalima Forest while we've got some time. So, Kalima Forest is full of puzzles, obviously. And we'll need to manipulate the logs in order to get around. So, we'll fight some drone bees. Oh, and uh, during our next battle, since they'll most likely die, I will show you the new synergy that we've gained. So I'm pretty sure my Earth synergy will be weaker in this forest, if memory serves. So, uh, some new synergy we've learned. One would be Volcano, which allows us to attack with Volcanic Might. It's a powerful single target attack. And then the other one we've learned is Plasma, which is kind of like an upgraded ray. Critical! Attack! And here is Volcano. Whoosh! Look at that Volcanic Might. Love the animation on that. That's one of my favorite animations, is uh, the volcano line. Did I forget something over here? No. Alright. Ivan should be pretty close to level 9 now. Yeah, like I said, the enemies in this force are a bit stronger, so that's why I wanted to train up a little bit before we got here. Also because we'll encounter five enemies at a time at some points. Alright. Earthquake gonna come in, deal some nice damage. And Flare Wall, take out the Drone Bees. So we should get some good experience and money from this. 83 experience, level 9 wins here. Ivan, which is awesome, and 109 coins, so a great fight for us. Let's move this way. Ooh, I'll go ahead and grab that. Give me your nuts. Thank you, tree. I don't need your way around. I think there's something over here. I'm not sure. Rat soldier, there is no escape. Another 53 coins. And yeah, there's nothing over here, so we'll just head up this way. We should be coming to the main puzzle on this soon. There we go. Wind our way up this way. Move those out of the way, we can get that in the lake. River, I should say. <coughs> Ow. And we'll hop across here. So we're gonna attack first against our skeleton friends. Easily, which is nice. Uh, Isaac's got a bunch of herbs from finding them slash getting them from battle, so we'll use one on Ivan. 
Uh, whenever you see one of these little hollowed out things, that means you can slide down that. So we won't need that yet. And here comes the actual puzzle in this. Now, by moving this log over one, we will have access to the way out. But we also want what's in that treasure chest because it's a pretty sweet item. So... Yeah. So we'll want to make sure we can gain access to that. So there's a switch over here that, when flipped, will empty out the water, allowing us to move the logs around. Now some logs are stationary, like this one here, but other ones move, which is pretty sweet. Alright, so here's how we're going to play this. Move that over there. So we're going to move both of these up. Slide this bad boy over. Now, normally this log would roll all the way down, but since we put a log in its path, bam, stops it right where it should be. Unfortunately, I'm an idiot. You'll notice that it happens from time to time that I'm, an, you know, an idiot. And now we have a path directly to our item nice and easy. I remember some of these puzzles like this one taking me forever to figure out when I was younger and it was quite annoying but now a little bit of logic. Super easy. All right so we're gonna make our way over and grab these sweet items. I believe it's fur something? Fur coat? Yeah fur coat, which I don't know if it works on any of them. Let's see. It does. So what this does is it resists water-based attacks and increases our defense. So... Let's see if Ivan can wear this. Give... He can. We're gonna give it to Ivan to equip because it'll make his defense a little bit better. Alright. Now we have to go about undoing what we just did. Only drawback. So, we want to make sure we can get across the river. Find said holy trees. And I'm pretty sure there's no enemies in this part, which makes things much easier because it would suck if you had to do this with enemies all over the place. So that should be it. We'll go ahead and pop back over here, flip the switch one more time. Dun, 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 dun. This game really does have such a soothing soundtrack. Ah, uh, glorious. Anyway. So as to who was talking to us earlier, there's one. Who are you? Oh, you're the ones who resisted Tret's glamour. I sense a great warmth within you. If you came to rescue Tret, you're already too late. Soon Tret will die and we shall wither away without him. Leave now before this forest is destroyed. Now come on, what kind of hero would I be if that happened? The healing waters of Mercury Lighthouse might save Tret, but the fountain's waters have long since dried up. That's important to keep in mind. Let me battle this troll first, and then I'll speak my mind. Forty-eight damage there. Fifty-eight there. We're looking good. So that'll be important to keep in mind later, because you get the full rewards of this forest by actually using water from Mercury Lighthouse. However, you might not know that otherwise. Chrome, we will not speak to you, child. I control all in Tret's realm. 
Of course you do. So, what awaits us in this giant angry tree? Well, you'll have to wait until next time. You like how I made Isaac Basian say that? Yeah, super cool. But we're going to go ahead and call that an episode. Otherwise, this will probably run over an hour if I try to complete this uh, dungeon in the time of this episode. So we'll go ahead and call it quits for today right here. Um, if you're excited about the Golden Sun series, as excited as I am at least, and are really, really excited to see more, do be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because, of course, your feedback and your support are super important. And be on the lookout for episodes of this, hopefully daily, until we wind up finishing the game. So again, I'm planning on getting out a lot of these, at least one a day, if not maybe even two, depends on how popular it winds up being. But again, be sure to stay tuned to the channel for any updates and for more episodes of Golden Sun. For now, this is Bowtie Soulfly saying have a great day and stay fly.